guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 15 of Undead Unlux. It's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I should have done this like in between the videos. That's okay. Can you? I mean, once again, I get that, but... The fact that the opening just wails like he's gonna die. <laughs> I figured, because there, there's no way you're going to be small for, like, the rest of the series. <laughs> oh! 
Sir, you punched a child. You punched a child! Well, I mean, because he cares for her. That's his bae, duh. <laughs> yeah. gonna give her a gun the way that kind of gives like fire force vibes please also show our series anyone who's doing fire force give me another season please and thank you i'm just saying And then he just leaves. You poor baby, you came in at the wrong time. <laughs> Literally. 
literally just Persona. We're like, all right, come on. Come on, guys. Let's go kill God. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh! Huh? Is it bad that I want him to hold me like that? Like, I mean, we already know I'm down bad for Andy. It, it's been like that since episode one, so. Eat between him and Victor. Love to be in that sandwich. <laughs> Shut up, Kazuma. Bye. She's just so cute. I mean, <laughs> was that supposed to be Clannad? <laughs> Cause it looked like it for a moment, just for like a teeny tiny second. <laughs> Honestly, we don't know. Excuse. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, you know what? It's okay because what's her face? She also did too, but it, it was on accident. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know about yours. Um, <laughs> how? How'd you kill your parents? Or why did you kill your parents?
know. You're really sure about this, huh? They're friends. Poor baby. Oh God. Oh, cool. Ooh, nice guy. Now, is that car for y'all or him? already gone. This is suddenly turned into a BL. sad. Really? Oh. You want to fight with a gun or a sword? Fire. Like, it's stupid. It is my baby. <laughs>
Well, I mean, we getting closer to 2024. We now in 2020. Okay, so one thing I will say that, okay, because both Fuko and Chikata had to both get training, hopefully it is worth it and such because I do, the biggest issue that I had for like the first half is that Fuko could not fight and do things for herself, mainly it's always like Andy coming to sell her, save her and help her in the ish. And so the fact is that she really wants him to train her so that she can at least, you know, get one good punch in. Or a couple of good punches and get them for me, I'm just saying. But I need her to be a badass bitch. And we're going in that direction of her just getting shit done. Handling the business and then moving on. Kicking some ass and looking good while doing it and such. I feel bad for, you know, Chikata because, you know, he, he's alone. But yes, he still has everybody else in this group. But his friends, his normalcy that he had that he was so used to before he got his powers and such, and even as he's had his powers, your one and only friend that you had isn't there anymore. And and so it's like, what the fuck do you do? And how do you, how do you cope with the fact that you had to choose and tell them to everyone who he's interacted with to forget him? And, and it's just, it sucks. It really, truly does. And I feel super bad for him. And hopefully, maybe there is some weird way, shape, or form that everyone he knows can get their memories back. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, the fact that we're also just, you know, going into, like, our final boss is God. Once again, literally Persona in a nutshell. You know, <laughs> at every single Persona game and such, as someone who is super excited for Persona 3 Reloaded and playing that day fucking one, I literally just pre-ordered it, like, a couple hours ago. Um, Just so excited to replay that and go back into that ish. As someone who is also, like, I don't know how many times I've play, replayed Persona 5 Royal, like, too, uh, you know what, I'll say too much to the point that I know everything and such. It's always just very interesting going against the final boss before you get into the royal-ish and such, but it's just, it's so fucking satisfying. Now I'm just secretly hoping that if Persona 3, you know, Reloaded is really good, that, you know, a really, a new HD version for Persona 4 eventually comes out, because, you know, you got it for five and three, you might as well do four before six comes out, because none of us knows what the theme for six is going to be, what the color of six is going to be, and everything else. We know what is currently being made as of right now, but, you know, we just gotta wait and see. But, no, this was really a good, good freaking episode. A sad episode for, you know, Chikata and stuff, but you really feel bad for him. But I think, you know, some good is definitely going to come along from this. It'll just, you know, it has to run its course, of course. But, other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode 15 of Undead Unluck. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. It doesn't match your squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday or Saturday. Probably will be more of Saturdays. But maybe, like, if I'm not too tired next Friday when I come home. Because normally I kind of take a nap. Um, <laughs> I'll probably go ahead and watch 16. If not, you'll see it, of course, sometime Saturday. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.